Hi boys and girls, I'm going to read you the story book. It is called Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's start the story. Pete the and the gang had a great day. They've been at the beach, surf, and sun, and tons of fun. Ooh, look, they're surfing at the beach. They're having lots of fun surfing. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Let's see. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Ruby, said Alligator. Pete's place, let's go, said Toad. Look, they're all going to go and have a sleepover at Pete's house. Let's see. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. They're gonna go to bed. On went the pajamas and out went the lights. Good night guys. Good night alligator. Good night Toad. Good night Pete. Ooh, it's like they're about to go to bed. Let's see. Pete was just about to catch some when all of a sudden Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Uh oh. Pete covered his head. Oh, I guess Grumpy Toad doesn't want to go to bed. He wants to clap instead. This cold cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Look, they're all ready to go to bed. Pete tried again to catch some when all of a sudden ra ta 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 ra ta 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 Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus, the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Look, you see what the drum he wants to jam. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Uh-oh. Now it's the platypus. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes and catch some... <sighs> When he heard, uh oh, what did he heard? Munch, 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 munch. He had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? Uh oh, now it's alligator making a noise. All the clapping and rattling and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. Uh oh, what's this idea? He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read first to himself and then to the gang. Look, he's reading a story book to his friends. Toad and the platypus and alligator.
B noticed it was violently quiet. No more clapping, no more ratatating, and no more munching. Oh, let's see. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Ooh, let me make it a sound. Be yawn and turn off the light. Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some zines. Hey, look, everybody. His friends are asleep. And now he's gonna go to bed too. Look at Pete. He's ready to go to bed. Tomorrow was another day for surfing and sun and tons of fun. Look, they're dreaming. They're dreaming, boys and girls. Look, they're all asleep. And that is the end of our story. That's the end of our story. Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. By Karen Billy and James Dean. Well, that was a very good story. Pete was trying to get some good sleep with his friends, so they had a sleepover. So first of all, they went to the beach during the whole day, surfing and tons of fun under the sun. And they were surfing, woo, surfing. And that sounds fun. But when the day was over, Pete and his gang did not want the fun to end. So they went to Pete's place and to have a sleepover party. And all the fun was fun, well sorry, it was done. So what Pete and his friends did, they were ready for sleep, ready for nap time, ready to go to bed. But his friends were clapping, clapping, like Toad, or ratatari, like the platypus, or even nom 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 munching, like the alligator. So Pete got tired, so what he did was wonderful. He did something amazing. He read his friends a bedtime storybook. And every, there was no sound. Everybody just went back to sleep. And they all dreamed that tomorrow they will have a fun day. And that was the end of the story. I hope you all love this story, boys and girls. All y'all did. Because that story is fun. And then Beat the Cat, best book storybook I ever read. I have all his storybooks. You should buy some Beat the Cat books because they're very cool and they're awesome to read, boys and girls. Alright, I'll be right back with my buddies, okay?